Hi guys, welcome to another segment. You're watching me, Jamie JK, and I want to tell you what I've been up to lately. I've been using the um, new app that's just arrived on Xbox One, which is called Beam.pro. And I've been using that quite a lot to live stream my video games. Because live streaming is really, really fun, guys. You should try it out, guys. Because when you live stream, guys, you get not only satisfaction of what you're doing, but you can show people proof of how good you are on games, guys. You know what I mean? Live stream this game, guys. Because this game is awesome, guys. When I live stream this game on Beam, it's really, really awesome. I've had some really good feedback while playing this as well. Played some awesome, awesome friends on this game, guys. Played with Kupasa, he's an awesome friend of mine. And, you know, this is something that I love doing. My passion in, in life is to try and get, you know, big on the live streaming stuff because you know when i've been watching other live streamers i'll be like wow i want to do that one day i want to be able to sit there live stream my games show you guys what what i can do guys this is something that's really 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 brilliant this game is brilliant guys get this game it's absolutely brilliant that game is brilliant guys that game is brilliant call of duty infinite warfare call of duty modern warfare remastered that game is brilliant the only thing you should play on Infinite Warfare is Zombies, if you if you want to play that game. But just play the Modern Warfare Remaster. That game is sick, 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 guys. It is a sick little game, guys. Sick little game, guys. I've been playing that hell of a lot, guys, and I love that game, guys. I love live streaming that game for you guys, man. I'm your Call of Duty live streamer, guy. You know, I go around live streaming and stuff like that. And it's, it's so fun, you know, talk to my friends, talk to viewers, make friends. Yeah, and when I was looking at looking at other Call of Duty stuff to watch someone broadcast on Twitch, I used to, I do use Twitch as well. It's just Jamie JK on Twitch.com, and that's another live streaming segment as well, which is on the Xbox at the moment as well. And I also like to make another point as well, guys, is that when I live stream, guys, it's not only for me, it's for you guys as well, guys. You guys can interact, guys, because I do giveaways, bobbleheads, and stuff like that, guys. You know, I've made two awesome, 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 awesome friends, guys. Awesome, awesome friends, guys. I've made a guy called Q Paso, guys. I'm going to show you guys on my phone, guys. This guy is an awesome, awesome ledge, guys. He's an awesome ledge, guys. He's got a really good YouTuber, YouTube video, and I want you to go and check him out. He's got some awesome stuff that he's doing right now. I'm going to show you guys. That is my friend, Cupasso. Cupasso, if you can't see that very well, guys, I will put it up on the description. There you go, guys, if you want to see that. Yep, that, just looking at my screens, I know. That is Cupasso. Q-U-E-P-A-S-O dot TV. Yep, it's Cupasso. Cupasso. And he does fidget spinner videos. He's got a dog there. And yeah, watch his fidget spinner video. Yes, he's an awesome, awesome guy, my friends. You should go and check him out as well, guys. The reason why I started this video today, guys, is because I just want to show you guys. I'm still doing YouTube videos. I'm still going to cover videos and put them on at some point, guys, okay? I'm still going to be here on YouTube doing more content as much as I can, you know, and trying to get much out there as I can as well. Also, guys, I, I've been trying, trying to get my content out there as well, live streaming, get them out there as much as I can. Hope you guys can join me on my next live streaming content, guys, because that'd be awesome, awesome, awesome. I just want to tell you a bit about what I've been up to this week, guys, what game I've been playing this week, guys, what stuff I've been doing as well. And I'll tell you that, guys, right now, guys, just for you guys for watching this video. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching the new Beauty and, Beauty and the Beast live action film today, guys. I've actually watched it today, guys, and it's absolutely brilliant. If you like to see live action Disney do a really good, um crossover from like Disney cartoon to live and this is the bag for you guys because this film has got Emma Watson in it and it's got Ian McKendrick from um, Lord of the Rings and and um, and she's from Emma Watson and she's from um, Harry Potter isn't she so they're all in that film aren't they and they're all doing the brilliant brilliant acting in that it's really good it's not the best film out there I admit but it's it's something that you know, your kids will love, and if you love Disney, go and watch it. It's not as good as the the. It's not as good as the Jungle Book live action. Jungle Book live action is is really really good. I recommend you watch that as well. But um, this film has got action all the way through it, guys. It's got what you want from the from the live action Disney. You know, it's got singing. All the songs from the Disney cartoon is in there. Yeah, you know, Disney film is in there. All in there. 
it's just got a little bit of finger to change around bits that you know you're like oh okay why is that like not in the film why is that there but you know it, 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 it you can understand why but it's it's really well done and everything that you watch is really really well done and the set costumes oh my god the costumes are so brilliant as well how they've done the costumes how they've made all of it and also you know look believable real enough and it's, it's just a good little good little film to go and watch with your kids i recommend it i give that one a rating of 10 out of 10 guys 10 out of 10 yes that film is brilliant guys go and watch that guys and my next one is the new too fast film as well guys i've been watching that and that film is really 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 good it's got Dwayne johnson it's got all your cast from the old too fast in that as well that is wicked it's got all driving in it racing and it's like wow you're racing racing and you're driving in and out of places and it's got some really good moments in that film it, it isn't the best as the old ones because you know obviously sequels don't really work as well as they, as they should but you know that's a really brilliant 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 film if you're a fan of those films like i am you know you'd love it you know i love like, my car racing films i love obviously things that i do i love you know things i do in 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 life where i i go and watch just go and watch racing you know with a, with a friend of mine car racing and stuff but now I just watch them on TV a lot, and now I watch Too Fast, it's brilliant. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you'd be really interested in watching Too Fast. Um, it's called The Fast, The Fate of the Furious, that's what it's called, guys. Go and check that out, guys. Check that out, guys. That's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant film. They're the only two films that I would recommend go and watch at the moment. You know, it's not, not any of the films that you want to go and check out. There's New Jumanji film with Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock, Acker. As I say, if you're Australian, it's Acker, if you're Australia, a.k.a. The Rock, um, he's starring in a new Jumanji film as well, and that's going to be so dope, because Jumanji 2 and um, Sephora is absolutely brilliant. I thought that film was going to be shit, but it's really, really, really good. Sephora is the yeah, space, the board game in space, and it's like, wow, that is an amazing film. I thought, oh my god, this is going to be really crap, you know, because it's about a board game, and it's about, you know, these kids and the space, and no, it isn't. It's absolutely brilliant. I thought, wow. How can I enjoy this? Normally, I don't like sequels and you're really, really shit. Like the Jurassic Park sequel, you know, the third and fourth are shit. And I thought, you know, nah, fuck that. Don't watch that shit. Don't watch any Jurassic Parks, guys. Only watch Jurassic Park if you like the first two. And that's it. Don't watch any more because they really are shit. There's just, just no words to describe that, guys. Shit, shit, and more shit, guys. Yes, shit, guys. Yes. Anyway guys, I just want to tell you another thing as well guys, you should go and invest in a tablet like this guys, this tablet is awesome guys, this tablet is awesome guys, it's a Lenovo tablet, as you know the tablet is really really good, this is very really good to watch movies on and stuff, download Showbox and stuff for it as well, Showbox is awesome, download Showbox guys, because you get to watch new and old films and new and old, Showbox is brilliant guys, Showbox is brilliant guys. Yeah, Showbox is a thing where you can download from Google, not from Google Play Store, but from Google, and you download it onto your phone, and you can watch new and old films as well, as well watch my two films, you know, Too Fast and Beauty and the Beast live action um, and stuff, and I watch many other TV shows on there, films, TV shows, and, you know, Simpsons, to Drama, to you know, How I Met Your Mother, stuff like that, you know, you get all sorts from there, not just from, from films, so check that out, guys, you know how to download from google.com not google play store yeah just check, check that out it's it's really good showbox is really good i recommend you download that as well guys and also guys i also guys have to say that my my beam is up on there guys on the right hand side there guys go and check me out guys i'm going to be live every day playing call of duty playing gta um I'm playing all sorts of games over there more combat uh, call of duty goes call of duty event warfare I do Call of Duty, it's my beam stuff. Yes, it is really. Uh, Battlefield 4 is really good. Still doing stuff like that, guys. And also, guys, I just want to tell you something, guys. That I want to talk about something else as well, guys. That's really on my mind as well, guys. I just want to get that all out of the way, guys. Getting all of my beam shouting out stuff out of the way, guys. Alright, do you know if you haven't seen this article, guys? Uh, I'm just going to have a magazine out here as well. Uh, 
got my magazine out here. This is a magazine, a UK magazine, which is a really good magazine. Buy that magazine, it's really good. And I just want to show you that that guy, Mick Carter, there in EastEnders is really bad. If you like EastEnders, guys, and you love EastEnders, guys, like I love EastEnders, and I've been watching it since I was a little boy, and I've been having such fun times watching that. But lately, guys, I'm really upset, lady, guys, because Bonnie and her sister in EastEnders um, have died recently. And that really got me thinking, you know, what is EastEnders? going to do next when they die because it's a really horrible thing to do killing off characters where they were so popular guys not just me that loved them they were popular everywhere guys they were everywhere they were, they were buzzing they were lovely they were vibe they were brilliant they were, they were just right there on the ball they were right up there you know they had storylines with Jack and you know and, and her um, her sister problems Roxy Ronnie and you know they were just awesome and I'm just ashamed that they, they killed them off now, since the new producer came in EastEnders, the new producer took over, and he's gone, boom, I'm going to change EastEnders, I'm going to make it shit, and I'm going to make characters do shit, shit, shit. It's like, Abbe, get rid of Abbe. Abbe is a shit character, man, and all she does is get the door. Abbe, get the door, get the door. It's all she does. It's all she does, man. She, she's boring. And and now she's living with Jack and, and no, no, she's living with um Jay, that's and Ben, that's it. All right, let me stop and with that, with that girl in the wheelchair as well, and and the thing is, you know, she's she's just a dopey girl. Do you know what the fuck she's doing? She's living in in, in some a shared house, and she wears stickers everywhere. So like, this is mine, this is mine, and it's like this is a dumb bitch. Get out of EastEnders now. No one likes you. No one wants you around. You silly bitch. Hate you, Abbe. All you do is moan, moan, moan. All you do is is just like, like oh, I'm Abbe. Fuck off, Abbe. Fuck off, Abbe Stenders. Fuck off. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's not a big actor either, but I'm anyway. Anyway, anyway um, I just want to say that I'm really worried about that TV show because it's going downhill in my eyes. Like Ian Bill. Oh my God, Ian Bill. He's like, oh, I've got weight problems. I've got to lose weight. Ugh. Let's him scoff my food down my neck. Who wants to see him scoffing his food down his neck like? Like, he's no tomorrow. Who gives a shit about Ian Bill these days? Ian Bill is one of those characters where you think, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Why are you still in this show? You're bullshit. You're crap. You know, you can't act in anything else but EastEnders. And you're just boring, man. Boring, boring, boring. You need to book up your ideas, EastEnders. Book up your ideas before I switch off. Because I'm planning on switching off soon. But EastEnders is boring. You know, I'm so bored of it, you know, none of the characters are, are, are real. And with that character, there, he's the worst character on EastEnders to ever come about. Horrible man, horrible man, horrible man, horrible man, horrible man. I hate his acting. I hate, I hate, I hate Danny Dyer with a passion, guys. Danny Dyer is, is a horrible man that I hate with a passion. He's, he comes across as like, I'm the boldest swagger, man. I've got all the swag. And I'm going to talk slang all the time and get my dog in bone. I am the Vic now. I'm Vic the Prick now, because I am the Queen Vic. I'm a prick and I'm a Vic the Prick. You little fucker. Oh, I'm gonna cheat on my wife with some younger girl. I fancy this younger girl. Oh, oh. So get over yourself, bitch. If you wanna cheat on your girl, cheat on your girl. You know, get it over and done with now. You're a horrible man. Horrible man owns the Vic. You know, I don't like the way EastEnders always changes actors as well. You know. When I saw Ben Mitchell uh, and a changed actor to a fat Ben, he was really chubby Ben, and I thought, oh, he's not a bad actor, you know, let's keep him, he's really cool. And then, and then that Ben obviously left because he raped a girl, you know, and he sacked him, you know, and stuff. And they got another Ben, which is the third Ben, and I thought, mm, this Ben, this Ben is, 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 is a really good actor, he's a really good actor, and I thought, wow, this is better than the second Ben. Wow, the actor Ben. Wow, that's a really good choice they've done there. You know, and um, killing his boyfriend off was really low blow on the as well. I know that fucking low blow shit you have to do, you piece of shit. You, know, you, you, you ruin a really good relationship for that show. You, you just go downhill. You don't know what you're doing with the characters. You, you kill off characters. You don't know what you're doing. And, 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 and. What about Billy Mitchell? He's had no good storylines for years and he's still there. It's like, get rid, you motherfucker. You're boring. And they've got this new, um, like, characters coming in, new family moving in, so that might be good, that 
might be good, it might not be good, but if they're really shit, I'm just going to switch off, switch off. I'm not going to say anything about, I watched another one as well, I, from EastEnders, I watched Neighbours, and Neighbours is really good right now, it's up there, Neighbours is really good, it's got Toadfish still in there, it's got, it's got Paul Robinson still in there, and yeah, it's got all the characters I love, new and old, and, and Neighbours is something that I can just relax and watch all day, every day. You know, it's not a soap where they're ruining it at the moment, you know, it's like it's just perfect, you know, where it's just sailing along, sailing along, and it's just perfect, I've got nothing bad to say about that, you know, that's why it's going to be short about that, and the reason why I'm talking about these sort of things, guys, is because I just want you to understand, guys, that don't just turn on things that you think, oh, they're really good, they're really shit. I like EastEnders, you know, I loved EastEnders back in the day, I loved how things were back in the day, but I think, as time goes on, I think they're losing the passion of what, 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 what things used to be good, you know, and I hate that, like, don't do, like, sequels of a movie like too fast, because you're ruining the, the franchise of what, what it is, you're ruining it, ruining it, ruining it, and I love it, and I love that franchise, it's really good, but I'm hoping, the, hoping the next two are ain't going to be shit, they're going to be really good still, and please don't ruin any more films, you know, they're ruining them films now, you know, it's like, you've done it again, oh, I'm bored, a third time, a fourth time, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, an eighth, it's like, oh, for fuck's sake, I don't have any more, oh, but I have to stay watching, guys, because I love those characters in it, I have to find what happens, and you have to, though, don't you, I mean, if you're watching it long-running, as I have, you know, and, and I, I, I don't get it, like, guys, you know, too many sequels there ruin things, guys, that's my rant, too many things sequels ruin, guys, had to get a few things out of the way, you know, what I've been feeling today, you know, I've been feeling that I wanted to rant about stuff, guys, and I just want to say peace out, guys, and thank you for taking the time to listen to my rants about stuff, guys, you know, I just needed to get things off my chest on a, on my YouTube blogs and stuff, you know, because, you know, without you guys supporting me, guys, I wouldn't get far as far as, as I would, guys, and, you know, I know I rant about random stuff, guys, but, you know, it's all in good favour, guys. You know, I love ranting about stuff anyway, guys. I love it, love it, love it. And I just want to say, Cupasso, don't, don't cry, don't get upset, man. I'm here, I love you, man. And this is a shout-out for my friend Cupasso, Akbasha.tv, Beam, he's on Beam as well, check him out on Beam, Cupasso. He's really cool, yeah, he's, he, he's a good friend of mine, so check him out as well. He's live streaming every day, and, you know, I, I said to him, I'm going to shout you out on my end of this video, guys, because it's awesome, guys. This is this is my bedroom, guys. Very small bedroom, isn't it, guys? This is where I do my gaming, I do my vlogs, I do everything in this room, guys. And if I've got anything else on my mind, guys, anything else I'm worried about, anything that I'm stressing about, I will blog, blog about it on YouTube and just tell you guys what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, and all that, guys. Yes, thank you for taking the time to listen to my video, guys, and I love you, and I'll peace out, my friends.